Um, you know, we tend to think about uh, epilepsy, first of all, and usually epilepsy is in younger animals, typically between one and five years uh, of age. But epilepsy is a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning we have to have ruled out everything else first. Um, and so as we go through our, our uh, list of differentials, we sort of break it into two categories. Um, the first is intracranial. So something structural or physiologic is, is going on in the brain that is abnormal. Easiest example of that is a brain tumor. Um, but we could have hydrocephalus and, and other congenital abnormalities that might cause something going on inside the brain. Then if we move to our extracellular causes of the, of, or pardon me, extracranial causes of seizures, the list becomes even longer. Um, we can have metabolic disease, anemia, hypoglycemia, electrolyte changes, um, severe kidney failure, something like that. Um, and so we really have to go through uh, that list pretty comprehensively to identify what exactly is the cause of a seizure in any individual patient. That usually means running routine blood work, maybe doing some other routine screening before taking that next step and doing advanced imaging or uh, spinal taps to collect CSF.